Not there. Are you ready? Is that... Firefly? Yes. It's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Thing, if I'm not wrong. She mentioned thinking of she seems she has no idea. She stares at the screens. She... Let's get going. Lights? Is there some... Why did you... This isn't what we agreed on. The situation has changed, and it seems that companion... Has perhaps, judging from the outcome... This is that person's true intention. <laughs> Why? Who forced her to go that way? Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal, a tall male in silver. The door! It won't open! It's a dead end! Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless there's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Based on she mentioned they might have had. Do you mean there's something else? There's actually a path here. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Finally, back in the lobby. This is case. 
She thought she had escaped, but... <sighs> After that, it's the end. Everyone, it seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunter Sam. <sighs> <sighs>
Implementation. <laughs> More enemies. Let me cut your wound. Do not fret. That needs a <laughs> This is double speed. Stage to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show! Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that galaxy ranger. I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Perhaps the hunt, or destruction, or even finality. It doesn't matter. These paths all point to the same outcome. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Nicely done. As expected, I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this Duke to go around burning and looting Practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions. Swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. They were eliminated on their way. 
the assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Penicone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or... You can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Penicone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe Venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him, but this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my... My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. But, always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from... It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, 
during this golden soiree. She is the dance's centerpiece. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like, no matter what, I hope you can trust adventuring. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Penacone. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions for the truth and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is. Perhaps he plans on doing so, but I won't. The Garden of Recollection has eyes everywhere. If he wants to hurt you, he'll have to fight against the Memo Keepers. I've warned him about that. Later, I'll stay by your side as a memetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Adventuring, or I could still choose not to help. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper. <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met, it was right here. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. <gasps> no reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices.
welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Was it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway. Uh, the other was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you? Chicken winged boy. Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? <gasps> Truly. Hard of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze, and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. Friends, meet yet again.
need to put this aside for a more indifferent process. Make a win. There's no weird, sweet dreams truth. Nor is there evidence strewn all over the place. They finally caught up with her. But what's that thing? A Bella Boggy and trash can? In Penacone? Hey! Dear Memo Mr. Coldfeet. You made it. I didn't expect you to skip the final puzzle. That's on me. All right, all right. Miss Sparkle cares not for the faults of ants like me. Listen up. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? No murder case. Sometimes it's nice to take things easy. <laughs> Seeing as you're right here in front of me like this, Get out of bed. She runs about all afternoon in a bluster, so is exhausted by evening. It has to still raise a hand to hold a toothbrush. Poor Sparkle. Try to fool me, seeing as he just tried to cheat. Wrong answer. guy's pretty quiet. Miss, let's hurry up. Fli Wait. Don't move. Something's off. Uh, uh, Miss, you, you killed Sparkle. How is this possible? How can people die inside Penacone's dreamscape? Garden of Recollection. What did you do? <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Only the Remembrance has the powers to do that. You planned it out all from the start because she teased you and was pranking you. You wanted to kill her. Oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because you wanted to drag me into all of this. If I don't agree, I'll end up just like she did. There is no death inside Penacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the Harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. There's no need to take such great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. M Miss... Sparkle! Who are you talking to? You. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Wouldn't that be you, Mr. Sampo? This? Don't jump to conclusions! 
If you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. Oh, I'm afraid evidence is a little too hard to come by. So... The hint for the final question was a little too obvious. Oh, you mean the locked room murder. <laughs> I thought you weren't doing that one. All the painstaking effort that Miss Sparkle put into it. How could I ever miss it? The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. First, the large splatter of blood at the crime scene. Second, the victim had been dead for some time. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw two conclusions. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case because a locked room always needs a reason to exist. But, based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame, and the blood everywhere didn't look like a fake to suicide. That being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a locked room. There is also reason to speculate that if the crime scene was a locked room, then its creator might not necessarily be the murderer. As for my second conclusion, it's even more obvious still. When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? A trained professional was somehow happily destroying a crime scene just to save someone who's obviously been dead a while. The answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective is the murderer. At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that the murderer had killed the victim the night before, but hadn't locked the door from the inside. And so, when he learned this piece of information, he realized that the victim had created their own locked room mystery. That's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible, to confirm whether or not the victim left any evidence implicating him. Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important. Miss Sparkle just wanted to pass on one hint to me, which means it's you, Mr. Sampo. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first came up with it. Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective than a memo keeper? In my opinion, there is no difference between the two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper and touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Exquisite reasoning. And very close to the truth. But I have another answer. Would you like to hear it? Another answer? The great artiste Sparkle locked herself away in her bedroom using red paint to create the semblance of spattered blood everywhere. And that assistant detective who was first on the scene, who confirmed her death, was not the murderer, but rather an accomplice who assisted her in faking her own death. What a pity, such a pity. My dear, you were so, 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 so close to the right answer. Miss Sparkle's body. Sparkle was disguised as Sparkle's body. Ding-a-ling! I won! Does Miss Sparkle's body even count as a real character? Why not? Miss Sparkle's body appeared in all three of those skits just then. It's a little bit forced, but it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo, then? Beautiful lady. I already confessed everything to you earlier on. I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. That's all. So I've been running a fool's errand this whole time. My dear, why so serious? Haven't you 
Haven't you been having a great time? You take the memories, and I get joy. We get what we need from each other. Seeing as we're such kindred spirits, but also such loners. Why don't you come and work with me? Ooh, we can dance ballet together. Oh? Am I understanding this correctly? A masked fool inviting me to work together? A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panacone. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. If you want to appreciate this drama, you have to stand up under that spotlight as you take the stage and watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. It's frankly above my pay grade. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces, right? How did you know? Memory is like the deep blue sea. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast, you might not be satisfied with your catch. <laughs> so, you mean, you're refusing? Did you think you could just leave? Why not? <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. We all know the answer sooner or later. We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if you can find me. <laughs> Let's go, Sam... Sampo? Sampo. Who is... Sampo? Uh, this is... This is... Bellabug, right? I said, why not? Don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. And also, I'm sorry, my dear. My dream dance partner? I've already got sights on someone else. do anything to her don't worry about that memo keeper let's talk about my thing I've helped you out with everything you've asked as agreed shouldn't you give my mask back to me now since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements <laughs> just kidding I love seeing that look on your face Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This 
doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to Yorella 6. <laughs> Am I right? Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Sometimes even an old-timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Senpo can stand by. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious?